I'm super excited to talk to you about choreography. It's something I'm super passionate about. I'm going to show you a lot of videos and, and things that I think make routines stand out because I think, think there are a lot of things that we can use to separate routines, even though we only have three tenths in artistry. The things that we have to work with right now are lack of variety in choreography, up to one, the quality of movement, personal style, up to one, and quality of expression. So we, we have three tenths. But I think we have other things that fall in the category of artistry that we can work with. Body posture and alignment, footwork, rhythm and tempo. So those are things that we have to always remember when we are judging routines and we come end of the routine and we come up with maybe a 9.2 and we think, wow, I gave that last routine a 9.2 and this one, her feet just weren't there, the quality, you know, just different things. So there's ways you can separate routines and, and here's some things that we need to remember. How to recognize these and reward excellence. If you didn't, that's me in case you didn't recognize them. <laughs> <laughs>
When you are doing full turns, we're judging, we talk about having control at the end of the turn, but I don't think that always means you have to stop um, and just kind of step forward and, and, and lunge and finish. So I'm starting something with one of my athletes where they're moving out of their turn. So they're showing control, but they're moving out. So this is an example of that. She's leaning a little, we're working on it, could be a little better, but go watch it again. Shows a little bit of a variety in the choreography. This is Ava again, and she's showing a variation of a leg hold turn, which I think demonstrates some creativity. So let's watch that again. I think her leg could be a little bit higher and she could have a little bit more control, but I think it shows some originality, originality in her turn. This is Caitlin and she's doing a turn moving forward out of it as well. One more time. What do you guys think as judges of that? Does that, do you think that's appealing? Yeah. Rather than just like step, finish? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm glad you agree with me. <laughs> that, that is the trend um, right now in the leech gymnastics. That's kind of what they're working on. But I just think if they're showing control and they can do something creative out of it, I think this is a good, a good option. Oh, this is a unique leap combination. So, do you guys know the value of that second skill? C. 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 So, would she get the C? Yeah. I think. And I think it's created the way she's landing. So, let's watch it again. Okay. This is a combination Ava's working on. So, she's doing an aerial to scale. Her leg can be higher, she needs to hold it two seconds. So something out of it is not going to be connected, but she's doing that turn that you saw out of the aerial after the hold. So it's not to get the bonus connection, but it's just to show a little bit of creativity. She needs to hold her leg up and not wobble and all that, but kind of like the combination. And then let me know if you know the value of this mount. Yeah, it's a C. Actually, we, we submitted it and um, she competed this year with that mount as a C. Can you play it again? Yeah.